two charges when kept at a distance of 1 meter a part in vacuum have some force of repulsion when two charges are placed in vacuum at a distance of separation 1 meter these two forces are repelled with each other with some force of repulsion so if the force of repulsion between these two charges be same when placed in an oil of dielectric constant fourth so again the two charges same charges placed in oil medium but the force of repulsion is the same only so this is only possible when we change the distance of separation between the two charges so here the distance of separation is we have to find the distance of separation in between the two charges when placed in oil medium so here the condition is how much force of repulsion when two charges placed in vacuum is equal to the same force of repulsion when placed the two charges in oil medium so given condition force of repulsion in vacuum is equals to force of repulsion in oil medium so when placed in vacuum distance of separation is equals to 1 meter and uh, in oil medium we want let it be d we want to find out this value so now in vacuum by using the coulomb's law 1 by 4 by epsilon not q1 q2 by square of the distance of separation between the two charges given value is 1 so 1 square is equals to in oil 1 by 4 pi epsilon not q1 q2 by d square into 1 by k here dielectric constant is 4 so in this place substitute 4 Now on both sides, one by four by epsilon naught cancelled. Q one, Q two also cancelled. So LHS side one is remaining, and RHS side one by four this square is there. So from this, D square is equals to one by four. D is equals to one by square root of four. That is equals to one by two. so distance of separation in between the two charges when placed in oil medium is equals to 0.5 meters when compared to the vacuum in oil medium distance of separation decreases that's why only the force of repulsion in vacuum and oil medium becomes to same